Wolf Pup 17 RP here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the tiny member of the Cherokee family, and uh, this is actually a Wolf Pup Limited Edition, which in means it includes a bunch of options and upgrades not found on the standard model, which is a good time to mention that this trailer in this video could look different from the one we have in stock. I'm going to try to show you where those things could be different as we go through so that you have kind of a, a good idea. You know, it's like a car commercial. What you see here, you know, optional equipment may be shown, stuff like that. Um, the uh, solar charge port up here, this has a little 10 amp solar charge pre-prep system on it, which is enough to trickle charge a battery. You're not going to run like an air conditioner on it. Um, the uh, big under uh, bed storage right here is an excellent feature. That's one of those things that if I keep my finger out of the camera, that is. That, uh, that gives you lots of outdoor storage capacity. You see your spare tires even stored down there, and it's a real spare that matches those uh, found on the trailer already, so you're not worried about like mismatching stuff. Now, we all know about like diamond plate in a trailer. Uh, we, we understand what that does for us. It deflects stones. Uh, it's a .06 thickness aluminum. That's how it does that, versus your sidewall, which is .024 inches. Uh, what's really interesting is this big fiberglass, or pardon me, uh, aluminum sweep you see on the nose is also 0.06 thickness. The whole nose of this is diamond plate, plus it's smooth. That's for towing purposes. Also for towing purposes, this is um, only 2,985 pounds. This is a 7.5 wide narrow body trailer, so it is designed to be very, very easily towable. The, um, if you're going to tow this empty, I guess... With a, with a minivan with an upgraded power plant, you're fine. You know, like if you got a, say, like a 3.3 or a 3.6 power plant, you're okay. But, um, you know, if you're going to start loading it, you probably want to get an SUV with a tow package minimum, like 4,200 pound type situation. And uh, now we've, we've put these nice looking aluminum wheels on here, which really dress this up nicely. Uh, a neat thing, because this does have limited outdoor storage, they do put on a little sewer hose caddy. That's what this guy is down here. This is giving us a place to keep our sewer hose away from the rest of our cargo. Uh, that little black box right there, by the way, this is a, uh, a two-directional vent. So that if you load, uh, say, a bike or a quad or something in here, so that it doesn't trap the exhaust, and you don't have to breathe exhaust fumes every time you come in and out of your camper, you can ventilate that while going down the road. Now you see the uh, roof AC. If you look right up here on the top, We've upgraded this to a full uh, 13,500 BTU roof AC, just like the big Cherokee trailers and fifth wheels. This thing will turn into an ice box if you want it to. Uh, we do have a spring-assisted uh, loading ramp that does have a real uh, aggressive uh, like tread on it so that you're not going to have to worry about like wheels slipping or anything like that. Uh, the little table here, that can go up next to the bench that you see right there. You can take it outside like your picnic table. It's a pressed resin membrane. This is not a, uh, you know, like a Formica countertop with, with uh, sawdust inside of it. Um, it's something that is designed to be a little more rugged, a little more indoor-outdoor use. It's not the cheapest thing in the market. It's nice, though, and that's the way that all of the countertops in this camper are made. The kitchen counters are just a bigger, thicker, heavier-duty version of that exact same thing. Also part of those upgrade bundles, the little outside TV setup you see right here. You'll see a matching bracket like this inside, actually directly above this big window right here on the inside. So one TV, if you choose to purchase one, can be mounted inside, outside, wherever you want. At this time, um, the uh, limited package equipped on a Cherokee RV, which includes this Wolf Pup, is not uh, including a television. Uh, biggest thing that we found is, uh, you know, to try to put one in there really price aggressively, it was a cheap TV that didn't have good performance, and Cherokee doesn't like warranty claims. They build a good product that stays in your driveway, doesn't come back to ours. But the, um, you know, I, I'm a detail nerd. I just realized I put this cushion back on here backwards. The zipper's supposed to be in the back. That's the kind of stuff that annoys me, but hey, that's who I am. Um, anyway, uh, so, you know, what they found is that for a good TV, you can go to Walmart, you can actually just get one cheaper. Now, you see the roll-down screen slash tent wall right here. What that can do for you is turn this whole interior into like a three seasons room if you uh, don't have shore power to run your AC. Now, the big bench here, big, fluffy, comfortable. That zipper's really bothering me. A little bit of my OCD kicking in right there, but hey, it is what it is. Um, that uh, can fold up and fold flat against the wall. What you're going to want to do is take these two cushions. I just stole them away on the front beds here, and uh, that can allow this to fold up. Now, when this folds up, 
the, the, the base, the bench, when it folds up, will not stick out past this door jam. So if you can measure this door jam, if something comes through the door jam, you are fine. And I do love this, like, plank wood print that they have here on the uh, laminate flooring inside. It is sharp. And you'll see D-rings all over. Um, I've got carpet squares over most of them right now because I don't want to track dirt through your new trailer. But these are 2,500-pound rated um, D-rings. This is the exact same tie-down system they use in the uh, Cherokee's Cousin and the Wolfpack, even the Vengeance. Uh, they're true big toy haulers where people put big toys in there. 2,500-pound rated, and there's like, what, five or six of them in here. Um, previous years, they had a tiny little bad entertainment system over here. It was just an awkward spot. So what they did is they said, I'll tell you what, let's mount a flat screen above this big window right here. If we're going to put a TV in, let's put it in a prime viewing location. Now over here, next to that, what you're going to see is the all-in-one AM FM CD DVD stereo system. It has an auxiliary input, so if you want to plug extra stuff into it, you can. It does all kinds of fun things. Uh, again, I talked about those pressed resin membrane countertops. They're waterproof. You can't damage them with water. And one of the things they did this year is they opened this cabinet up. There's some nice touches going on over the 16 seats. And you see some extra stickers they didn't use at the factory in there. But a big, big storage uh, area. And that's right above the little propane furnace you have. So you do have heating and cooling. Now, uh, this uh, we've got a like a you know master bed on the bottom with a single bunk up top. And that single bunk seems to come and go from year to year. It's like one year people want it and it's not available. The next year it's available and people don't want it. And I, I tell you, if you can tell me the right time to have it and the wrong time to have it, I'll pay you some good money. Um, the uh, All the lights are LED. And you notice how it's got that little green glow on the button right there. It's because this has a, um, a little, I don't know, solar cell on it, I guess. That uh, kind of like a kid's toy that glows in the dark is basically what it is. It's just like a material that that glows when exposed to UV light. Um, the uh, this has a wet bath, which is where the toilet and shower are com uh, combined. Um, that's not always someone's preferable situation, but in this little trailer, there is no other game in town. There's no other way to do this here. Uh, interesting thing. It took me a second. I looked at this light, and I was uh, I was looking over here where you'd find a switch. And I'm like, where is the switch for this little bugger? And then I realized that. You know, they put the switch outside so that you're not worried about water and electricity mixing because obviously that's a bad idea. Hey, you know, my wife will tell you I'm not always the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I am a pretty sharp spoon, so there you have it. Um, your uh, refrigerator there, small but effective for this size of a camper, that's all you need. They do leave this big space right up here wide open, though. If you feel like you need extra fridge space, put a mini fridge there, plug it in. This is your little random appliance shelf is what this is. This is your random go-to shelf. You can do anything with this little space. Uh, above the uh, fold-up sofa over here, you see we have this big cargo pocket. The, uh, the netting here is really nice to catch shifting cargo. It's a very lightweight solution to that, too. It does not add a lot of weight to the trailer. And uh, again, we've got that nice big AC unit right here. Um, let me uh, pop one of these down for you real quick so you just kind of get the idea. Why well, tell you when I can show you, right? Now, you'll notice that there's actually a screen segment. You can roll this up individually. And uh, if I back down, just to give you a quick peek at her, there you have it. Wolf Pup 17RP, 2,985 pounds here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Forest River's number one selling family of travel trailers for two years running now. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.